But here we are doing NBA scrimmages before it starts for real on Thursday. I'm so excited to be here. Billy Mack, it feels like I'm here for the NBA Finals. So good to have basketball. Very explosive for a big man. He's 11th currently in the NBA in blocks. And Markeith Morris has the first bucket of the game. Let the guys play. That's why I love international basketball. They don't call every little bit of contact. Rui Hachimura. Once playoff time comes around in a couple of weeks, again, the eight-game, quote, end of the regular season will begin on Thursday with the Clippers. And the Clippers are going through their own drama. Caruso from deep. AC knocks it down. Great compliment. Cutting to the basket and getting the feed, but missing the shot. Caruso thought he should have been back on the line. We go the other way quickly. Reverse layup is good. Missing their top three scores. Good ball fake. Napier on its way, and it's down for three. Shabazz Napier. Now with eight, he's knocked down both of his threes. You've got Caruso, Green, McGee, Morris, and KCP as JaVale goes all the way to scoop it up and in. And there's Sunday Whites here on this Monday afternoon. Pass right into the hands of KCP. Here come the Lakers. 2-1-1. Danny Green rides it up and rides it in. Lakers playing good team defense. Get look at another steal by Caruso. And a good outlet for wow. KCP. Lays oh, it up and in. Look like uh, Patrick Mahomes with that, with that, that outlet pass. Uh, from ba from Baga. So, like, that, that's the thing that's really been prevailing. And you wonder, does Green press the counter? And he does, Billy. They have such good chemistry. You know, guys like J.R. Smith can play basketball forever because shooting is like riding a bike. And he's a shooter. If that's something you can do, you're always going to be able to shoot. That's a nice bounce under the Bonga who finished on the dish. Going baseline is Waiters. He'll come back out the other side. That's Curly Neal impersonation, all that dribbling. Over Wagner for two. So Waiters has his first bucket of the afternoon. He's shooting 55% from the floor in those first two games. So he's, well, 50%. So he's playing shooting very well. To say that he had a a rocky ride with Miami is an understatement this year. With the left hand, that's Wagner. Full cheese now, not Philly cheese if you're going to go nicknames. Uh, Jared Dudley told that to Michael uh, Trudell the other day. J.R. Swish from deep. Wow. Dudley, who hasn't scored in a regular game for the Lakers since January, gives it up to Cook, goes in amongst the trees and scores. Well, Cook does a good job finishing in traffic. At the Walt Disney World Wide World of Sports. Been there. there it's it a great facility. J.R. has got it again. Down it goes. Yes, sir. It's so important, Michael, to have a vet on the end of the bench that isn't going to complain about uh, playing time like that. Of course, every team needs someone like that, whether you're a lottery team or an NBA championship caliber team. As waiters drives and dishes. Uh, just by winning three games. Yeah, the Lakers don't have to worry about uh, the number one seed. You're right, Trudell, but they just got to worry about getting, keeping their game sharp and staying healthy. In case somebody didn't hear Michael uh, explain <laughs> that, I'll, I'll try to relay what Frank had, had got across. And it, it's a yeah. mix of what Billy suggested, too, of the health being the most important as Wagner gets a three. Super bouncy. looks uh, like in great health and great form. And Laker fans everywhere, I, I, I look after they lost the first scrimmage as they knock down another three. Laker fans were like, oh, yeah, man, we lost the scrimmage. And, and it's like, look, it's just a practice game. But I understand everybody's mentality. You want that winning mindset. You want to win every time, wherever you may be across the country. Here is uh, Waiters. He's going to try and he's going to go in and score. Yeah, both these teams are shooting at their 50 uh, percent down taken by Wagner. Oh, it's a good dribble drive all the way to score is Smith. You know, he's still one of the fastest players in the game. Talk to Jeannie Buss, our great uh, governor of the Lakers, and uh, Tim Harris, the great uh, Laker business Ooh. leader. And I'm going to ask them to retire my jersey at Staples Center. But Trudell, greatest player on ever the restart Japan. roster. I think he might be Japan's greatest basketball player already, even though he's only going to a second J. year. J.R. Smith, yes, sir, from the outside. Well, he's still hot. Doubled up at the rim. That's Another good. Rim protection by the Lakers. Here they come. With it is Waiters. Waiters all the way. Left hand on the break. Oh, that play was good. Again, the Lakers getting after it here in this practice game. Clock is down to beat the buzzer. By the way, KCP's got an Ironman streak of 181 games really? in a row. That wow. will be only a thousand more to catch AC Green. Yeah, I know AC. Free that's throw a, line is good. That's one of those records that will never be broken. Exactly. Never give up on the play. 
JaVale's got that quick burst to, to the offensive glass. Look at that block shot by JaVale McGee. He fly swats wow. it down. JaVale goes from one end to the other. And the Lakers control. Up and down we go in practice game number three. I like this. No fouling. Guys just playing up and down basketball. JaVale McGee with the three. Oh, JaVale man. from distance. Has to have that in their bag, right? Because so many teams are wanting to sp spread the floor and great space in the paint. So uh, he's going to put back down. Actually plays for the Clippers on Thursday. We know Lou Will won't be. Here is Kay. CP underneath. The only man there is Danny Green to follow it in. Haycock and KCP. Uh, so Vogel said before the game that we're going to see a lot of these young guys uh, in the action tonight. And meanwhile, Troy Brown with local broadcast. So Michael Trudell, it's all yours again. Uh, be a little hybrid. So Caruso going to feed Kaycock inside for two. Uh, Kaycock really strong as a screen roll dive man. Here, what impressed you about Kaycock the most? Well, so, I mean, his aggressiveness and his rebounding is the first thing as you're going to see some uh, the, the ball jumping all over the place. Finally, Thomas Bryant going to get an and one. These guys played a lot of two-man game in the G League this year. Uh, you just saw that in Frank Vogel having them initiate actions. He led the G League in double-doubles, Michael. He's the guy that has more in his bag that if given more minutes and opportunity, um, now that he's had a chance to get in shape as Thomas Bryant scores around Kaycock. At and uh, Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosh in Miami, but still, he has been the focal guy, the main guy. That's a lot of responsibility. A corner three from Alex Caruso. 485. Well, he's the NBA around this. Oh, without question. Most versatile announcer. Caruso again from the outside. Count it, yes, sir. With the spike, Trudell, you're not going anywhere. Here's Hachimura being guarded by Dudley. Going to get it right back with the left hand smooth to the basket. <laughs> you only get married once you were, in your life. You were looking at me when you said that. <laughs> Underneath, blocked Whoa. by Antenna Kupo. Jeez, what a block. So they can't be there for now. You still get to play the game you love. You get a chance to get a championship. And you, like you say, you know fans are a champion. You know, watch R. Smith. Still hot. Got it again. These teams met once in the regular season back the end of November. Lakers won handily 125-103. Be part of a long six-game Eastern road trip, which, of course, never came to fruition. Quinn Cook pull up in the lane. Nice soft touch for Q during the course of the regular season. A little change of pace. Back out now to Hachimura. Turn. Full turn and shoot and score. He's got 19 in the game. Resort. And the start of the fourth quarter, Wild World of Sports is where they're playing, and the three-pointer by Robinson. That's why the Lakers are so good. Frank Vogel has so many options he can choose from on the bench when everybody's healthy. On this Laker home game with the virtual fans, Laker girls, and such on the scoreboards. You know, if you want to know what it's like to play against Best on Sale, go outside, put the parking brake on your car, and try to push it uphill. That's how I felt. I was trying to move that guy out of position. With six to shoot. JR, you know he's got an option. JR through the legs. JR waits just a second, leans in, and scores it. Yes, sir. Completed nets, as Mike Trudell was talking about on Sunday. Halfway through this final quarter. Remember, we're going 12 minutes again here in the second scrimmages. Well, a little shake and bake for here. him. Pull back for two. Ooh. Waiters has it again. Bubble Cheese has another bucket. But Tom Thibodeau looks like he is going to be the head coach of the New York Knicks. Now, Jason Kidd had an interview. He was a, a, a possible candidate. Still may be. We don't know. If you joined us very late, a lot of Laker players didn't play tonight. Waiters! That's it from three. What does he want? One of three from three today. J.R. Smith is six out of seven from three. Troy Brown turns 21 tomorrow wow. for this Washington team. Dion going to the bucket hard. 17 Inside points. and out. 17 points for Waiters now. And 7 for 16 from the floor, but the answer back from deep, and it's 120 to 115. Yeah, enough to double team, get the ball out of his hand. With three, with two, right at the shot clock. Oh. Reverse layup is good. Well, say cheese and smile, Laker fans, because you're going to win this scrimmage, 123 to 116. And more importantly, to be happy for is the regular season begins again on Thursday in the March.